We did not expect to see jets of fluid flushing out toxins from the brain. If you have a choice, this is the way that you need to sleep and this is why. You're a neuroscientist. There's a lot of people who have dysfunctional sleep. We live in a world where it's increasingly difficult to have great sleep. How important is that for the brain? We've always known that when you sleep, you lay down your memories and new learning, you process your emotions, the cells in the body regenerate themselves. We've, we've known that for a long time. That's never really been enough for these very driven CE level people to want to give up eight hours a night to sleep. If they feel they can get by on four or five, then they'll rather do that because they've got so much to do. The ideal is eight hours and 15 minutes in population norm studies. So that doesn't mean it's for everyone, but for most people, that's the ideal. Actually sleeping more than and that can be depressogenic, so it can start to lower your mood. So you don't want to really be sleeping for nine plus hours, but you ideally need to be in bed for nine hours to get that amount of sleep. So there was some award-winning research around 2012 to 2014 when we were beginning to understand how important the cleaning of the brain is overnight. So this entirely new system that we didn't know existed, which is called the glymphatic system, that system is a very active kind of waterway channel cleansing system of the brain. We used to think that the fluid around the brain and there's ventricles which are like lakes and then there's just like trickling areas that sort of passively drip through the brain overnight. We did not expect to see like jets of fluid flushing out toxins from the brain. So the exact things that we see in the pathology of dementing diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, like tau proteins, amyloid plaques, and neurofibrillary tangles. <laughs> How do you say that in English? <laughs> <laughs> Those things are being flushed out of the brain very actively overnight. And that process takes seven to eight hours to complete the cleaning. That's why you need to be in bed for eight to nine hours. So it takes seven or eight hours to, of restorative sleep or just being in bed? Just sleep, not in bed. If you're in bed awake, you're not asleep. You know, you have to be asleep. Just taking seven or eight hours to flush this stuff out of your brain. So one of the things I do say to people who, who don't sleep well is if you find yourself awake at night and you're not lying on your side, turn yourself onto your side because that's the best position for this cleansing process. I actually have a special pillow that makes me sleep on my side because I wasn't naturally a side sleeper. So it doesn't matter if it's the left or the right, but that is a better position in terms of the veins in your neck than sleeping on your back or your front. So that's one thing you can do. Oh, you woke up, you know, your sleep was disturbed. At least turn yourself onto your side. 